Oh, in some game of football, just just sum up your emotions at the minute. Yeah, um, a little bit mixed, I suppose, because of the way it ended. But uh, I think we have to be very, very happy with the the result in the end. You know, being turned down at half time, and um, obviously becomes a bit of an anti climax at the end when when you can see it after scoring in the last minute ourselves. But I think looking back on it, we'd, we'd have taken it at half time, and uh, so we have to take the positive from that and, and, and keep going. What were the emotions in the dressing room at half time? Because we didn't really deserve to be 2 0 down, I don't think, and to come out fighting in that, that second half, what was said in there? Yeah, it was just a case of, you know, um, the, the first goal is a wonder goal from, from the lad early on, and it kind of it rocks us. But I think we responded and, and stayed in the game quite well from then on. And then to concede just before half time is obviously, you know, it's, it's an old cliche, but it's the worst time to concede. But we came in at half time, we knew that we hadn't really imposed ourselves on the game the way we wanted to and uh, if we could do that second half then you know we could we could change the flow of the game and, and we did that start of the second half. We got after them a bit more and um got us got ourselves on the front foot and uh, you know when you're when you're behind like that if you get one goal you never know what happens and you know it's, it's a prime example of it there. We've had some comebacks already this season here against Crew and then Wigan and then again today. It really just shows the the character amongst the squad, the spirit, but also you know the ability to get back into games like that. Yeah, absolutely. But you know, you know, it shouldn't be a case of coming to that either. Uh, you know, I think uh, we can't almost sit around and, and wait for things to happen in the game. We've got to go and make it happen. And uh, all those comebacks are great. They show great signs of character because we have got that in in, in abundance. You know, with the with the staff and the team, but. Yeah, we can't keep leaving it to, to, to the case of that we need to we need to crack on from, from minute one and, and get after teams. It's almost two weeks off now, obviously a few of the lads going away on international duty as captain. Is it a sort of proud moment for you as well to see your teammates go and get that recognition? Brilliant, yeah, you know, we've we've all the lads and we've obviously got a, a couple of Ireland call ups as well, which is good good for us. And Gab, you know, to be at 18, 19 years old, his first international senior call up is, is an amazing achievement and uh, you know, well deserved for the hard work he's put in and um all the rest of the lads well deserve. I know Jack Fales had a bit of an injury, but he's called up to Wales. It's, it's a great thing for him and, and Granty between the 21s. Uh, hugely exciting for everyone at the club. And then, of course, you have Quadro with his first England call up, who's it's probably been coming for a while. He's been he's been superb for us. And uh, I think as a club and, and, and as a team, we can only be proud of the players like that. It's a, it's a superb achievement. And uh, it just shows the work that the staff are doing with all the players that we've got here. And uh, I think, you know, it's, 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 it's a huge thing to be excited about. And on a club level, of course, it gives the chance uh, the, the chance for the lads to, to refresh and recharge and hopefully get some players back from injury as well going into the running. Yeah, uh, you know, we, you know, we've obviously got lads at uh, out Lundy and Ryan was today. We've had Jimmy Ryan been an absentee for a while. Get bees back today. We've had all sorts of injuries over the season, but uh, this is a, a nice little break, I think, but and also a good chance to get us. You know, to get some proper training in that we haven't really had the chance to get recently because it's just been game after game, but. Um, it's a chance you have for maybe a couple of days to, to relax and refresh, but um, I won't be taking my mind off things too much. Um, I'm looking forward to getting, getting cracking and get some good working on the training pitch and um, taking it from there.